Hi, I'm Glenn with Headwind Technologies. Uh, we've just purchased this CreateBot D600 3D printer from directly from CreateBot. We picked it up at the airport yesterday and uh, we're going to do an unboxing video. So, enjoy! So now that we've got the one side off, I can see that the unit is really well constructed. They've done an excellent job packing this thing. The uh, styrofoam here is very, very solid, very dense. Um, it's underneath, it's on the sides. We pulled a huge piece off the top and I think we're on the one side of it. So now we're going to go and uh, pull the other side off and we'll have a look at that. So this thing came apart uh, really easy. We had nothing more than a pair of duckbill pliers, a staple puller, small screwdriver, and a hammer. And you know, it came apart and no scratches, no bruises, no nothing. So all in all, well, well thought out, well put together for, uh, packaging. So our next task here is to get the unit off the pallet and uh, I'm hoping it came with wheels. They say it does come with wheels. So if you look underneath, and I did, we tipped this thing up and if I reach under here, I can feel a solid metal plate with a hole in it. So we're gonna take this plastic packaging off and see if we can't find some wheels inside. Okay, so as I suspected, we've got some foot casters in here, which we will open this box in a minute and uh, put those on the bottom. Uh, also, they included uh, some red three millimeter diameter PLA filament and some gray three millimeter PLA filament. Um, looks like a box of tape for the bed, possibly. A tube for the nozzles and probably some instructions. And it looks like two extra plates for the sides that were open. I guess they had to have those open when they did the uh, wrapping of the plastic. So we will remove those and see if we can't get these wheels on. So let's have a look at the contents of this bag. And we, looks like we've got one piece of tape like a filament guide tube. Maybe these are spare parts, I guess. Ah, tools. That's what I was looking for. Uh, a USB, looks like a firewire cable to USB. Some other very small, fancy schmancy tools. And, ah, oh, a box of instructions. Hey, that's what we're after. I'm just looking for a wrench to see if they supplied one for us. The Allen wrench is what I'm talking about. So in this, it looks like we've got a scraper for removing parts off the bed, the print bed. Scraper. Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so we've got a seven millimeter and a 5.5 .5 wrench. And then we have, oh, a pair of tweezers. Okay, I'm sure those will come in handy for something. And a pin. Not to forget a pin. Okay, good. So I'm gonna go get my own uh, Allen wrench that fits this, and just preferably a 90 degree one. And we're gonna attach these wheels. There's a little socket on this side here, and the socket wrench goes inside. So the socket part has to go to the top. The blunt side, that's a blunt side, that goes in. And you just basically screw it down until it makes contact. It won't go any further. And then you slide this piece in, slide the other nut on top, and uh, get it down finger tight. There we go. And you wanna make sure that this spins 
and you've got this part here so you can adjust up and down for fine fine adjustment all right so we're going to drop this thing down and take the uh, paper off the glass Okay, so these plexiglass pieces are very nice, but they've got plexiglass, uh, they've got this paper covering, and it's on both sides. So the, even the top panel, you're gonna have to remove the, the paper, paper covering from both sides. Clear paper, screw on and repeat. Okay, so we got all the paper off. Now it's time to see what's in this mystery bag here. Um, Front door handle, um, hinge, maybe an extra hinge. A, oh, a couple of fuses. Those are good. USB drive, very fancy. An extra hinge, a small wrench, and a small Allen key set. Okay, so let's put this door hinge on next. Okay, so this has been our unboxing video of the CreateBot D600, and I'm really looking forward to see what this thing can do. Thanks for watching.